first guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated actor and writer who you know from his work on Saturday Night Live, The Last Man on Earth, and is the voice of the sea captain. He stars in the highly anticipated action comedy series, MacGruber, which begins streaming on Peacock December 16th. Please welcome back to the show my very good friend, Will Forte, everybody. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. How have you recovered? Are you doing all right? I, I went to the corner bistro uh -huh. after that and got a delicious burger. I, what I didn't know is I was already full before I went there. So yeah. I was like, I, I couldn't, I basically couldn't breathe till midnight that <laughs> night. We did this on Sunday. Yeah, well, we walked, we had some like fried chicken that was on set. And I yes. feel like we ate a lot of that because yes. we were so drunk that we were just talking and eating way too much chicken. But we, we didn't eat the chicken until 12 tequila shots in or yeah. something like that. So, so it, it just was, was floating. It wasn't yeah. even like yeah. being able to be processed yeah. yet. I would like to say uh, we had a lot of big grand plans of uh, getting together that night. We were very uh, stereotypically drunk because we were like, let's get dinner later. And you're like, I'll text you. And I'm like, I'll text you. And then we both went home and didn't talk again until today. But I thought about you the whole time. I did too. <laughs> yes. Well, I, uh, uh, my wife is one of your uh, biggest fans. And one of the great memories I have of, of getting to be on set for MacGruber in 2010, the film, is that you shot it in New Mexico, as you did with the series. Uh, my wife uh, lives, uh, grew up, I should say, in New Mexico. And so uh, yes. we got to hang out, uh, you, me, and my uh, soon-to-be in-laws, because we were just dating then. Yes, you guys were dating. This was... Uh, uh... I don't know, I would say maybe a year into your relationship. Two years. Two my, wife, years? my wife, based on where you're going, I want to clarify, it was two years. Okay, this is two years, <laughs> which makes this story even better. Yeah, we, worse we, for me, better to tell, yeah. Okay, and I apologize, Ariel, your, your sister-in-law is, my sister -in -law is like an Ariel. unwilling participant in the story. Yeah. Uh, back, back in the day, I was a single man, Yeah. and uh, Ariel was a single woman, and yeah. so we had, we had one night gone to your in-laws, your in-laws-to-be house, and we all had a little tequila. That was another, you know, tequila night. And, and, and you know, we had a little, uh, Ariel and I had a little makeout session. You guys made out. Yeah. So we all, it was a very innocent, but then we woke up uh, the next day. We all stayed at the house in separate quarters, everyone, except yeah. uh, even you. You were very I I, chased I, back then. I was very chaste. Um, <laughs> anyway, we, w we woke up, and then we went to this place called Bobcat Bite. And, and as we were driving, Ariel and I were in the front seat. You guys, two years into your relationship, uh -huh. were into the back. And you had, at this point, not yet told Alexi that you loved her. I had not. That is correct. Yeah. And I did not realize, but Ariel had told you that when I wasn't there. So yeah. this was a piece of information that you had that I did not know that you had. Yes, and I seized upon that information. And yeah. so I made a, a very big deal of professing my love to Ariel yeah. in the front seat. Just like, Ariel, I'm just gonna say it. When it's time, it's time. And you know, I, you are so special. And I just think I'm ready to tell you right away that I love you. <laughs> Any person who just feels strongly about somebody will tell them they love them. And I just wanna do this. And you're in the back seat going, Son of a gun. And then I'd like to point out uh, uh, that wasn't my only uh, terrible uh, heel dragging. So then we were together five years and I still hadn't uh, proposed. Okay. And uh, at an SNL, I was at an SNL after party. You'd left SNL. And I was at SNL. And Screw I was that place. At a, Who needs yeah, it, yeah, right? Like, I, I didn't want you to get into all Best that. Best job but. ever. I uh, would not be here <laughs> without it. I love you, Lauren. I love every, everything about it. All right. So I'm at a table at the after party with Alexi and Ariel again. Yeah. And you walk in. I didn't even know you were coming. You see us beeline over, take a knee. <laughs> I forgot this. Take a knee to Ariel, and you're like, I want to say something that I have waited way too long to say. <laughs> Ariel, I love you. Will you marry me? And I was like, you mother, twice. <laughs> Well, you're married now with three kids, with right? With three kids, yeah. And I'd like to think that I have a little uh, p part, part of that action. That's <laughs> a weird do. way to say that. You do have a part of that action. Yeah, that's a, it's all about action to me and being a part of the action. You're either a part of the action or you're not. <laughs> yeah. you, uh, this is so exciting. Uh, so this was a sketch, a beloved sketch, uh, that became a movie that um, I think we can be honest about the fact that is beloved now. People who've discovered the film in the last 10 years. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We all know. It was not, but it was not 
uh, beloved at the time. It or maybe, not... maybe you know, maybe the people who saw it liked it. But, I think they did. But definitely it... not a lot of people saw it. We yes. can agree on that. I think for we sure. can. Yes. Let's just drill down and say, like, box office wise, it did not set the world on fire. <laughs> the bed. <laughs> just like, I mean, the bed was at the end of that was more <laughs> than bed. <laughs> yeah. So it's very exciting for the fans of this that it's now not just back, it's not a sequel, it's a new series. It's eight episodes. Um, it, what I've seen of it is so exciting, being a huge you. fan of the film. Did you always, in the back of your head, did you and, and Yorma and John Solomon think like, you know what, maybe one day we'll make more of these? We pretty immediately, after, you know, everything, the, when the dust settled in our head after a couple of weeks, it's, it's hard to go through a situation like that. But early on we said, you know what, we're proud of this thing. Nobody wants a sequel, but let's give them one. Let's just freaking <laughs> do it. And we were like, even if we have to shoot it on iPhones, let's just, let's do it. So we, we immediately started thinking of titles. We came up with the dumbest titles What were for some of the rejected? Uh... MacGruber 2, colon, <laughs> infested waters. <laughs> Another one, Yorma, I think, had Hawaiian gold, colon, MacGruber 2, colon, the search for Hawaiian gold. <laughs> Um, Val Kilmer had, uh, he, he had a simple one, McTuber. McTuber? Yeah. And I, then Wig, I think, said MacGruber part do, part, wait, MacGruber part do, do. <laughs> Just so it could get doo doo in there. I also, yeah, somebody, I, somebody pitched at the time MacGruber goes number two as a sequel Oh, that title. was Wig also. Yeah, that, that was, was, that was yeah. a really good yeah, one yeah. as well. Um, this is very exciting. We're going to uh, show a clip of it and then talk more about it when we come back with more from Will Forte after this. <laughs> 